Wild weather is expected across southeast Australia, with bushfires and snow predicted to hit Victoria in a 24-hour period in the coming days, and a warning of high temperatures, strong winds and severe bushfire risk in South Australia. Conditions in New South Wales are expected to ease after severe thunderstorms and large hailstones lashed regions across the state. Heavy rain in Sydney overnight brought to an end its longest dry spell in more than a century. The NSW State Emergency Service responded to about 250 emergency calls, mainly in the Hunter and Metropolitan areas. In Victoria, strong winds are expected to sweep across the Mallee region on Sunday, with already dry conditions adding to the bushfire danger rating, which is tipped to hit severe. James Cannon at Jimbo Cannon Hail in Nelson Bay hurts when it hits you on the head Dizzy face pic. Twitter.com Dom 9 Crew 8 October 26, 2017 Victoria, probably not with this first front, but a stronger front later on Sunday could push the Mallee towards severe roar into severe fire danger even though they have had some rain, said a Bureau of Meteorology senior meteorologist, Scott Williams. There had been a couple of warm days but the fuel had dried and there would be a lot of wind, Williams said. Well be looking at the wind being the key reason to lift the fire danger, he said. But there would also be a rapid temperature drop of as much as 15 C from Sunday into Monday, which could result in snow falling in alpine areas. And we're likely to see a snow level on our ranges down to about 1,000 meters or so, he said. It's a really big contrast and just shows the waters to the south of continent haven't increased in temperature much. In South Australia, severe conditions have been declared across much of the state as high temperatures and strong winds increase the risk of bushfires. The Country Fire Service has issued total fire bans and declared severe conditions across seven districts for Friday. Bomb South Australia at bomb underscore summit I show fry windy, fast moving change. This will bring potential thunderstorms fire weather. For warnings HTTPS T.co 5 wex for wikupic.twitter.com Lee 7 bt 8 k 9 ic October 26, 2017 The Bureau of Meteorology has also issued a severe weather warning for the air and York Peninsulas, Kangaroo Island and the Mount Lofty Ranges, with wind gusts of up to 90 km per hour possible. Adelaide will have a maximum temperature of 32 C on Friday but the mercury will push into the mid to high 30s in several regional centres. Udnadatta, in Sass North, is expected to be the hottest spot with a top of 40 C. The supervising meteorologist Matt Kalopi says a fast-moving front will sweep across Saw on Friday with strong northerly winds ahead of the change. He says there won't be much rain but there is the possibility of thunderstorms as the system moves over the Adelaide Hills. We're going to see very windy northerly conditions leading to severe fire danger, he said. James McGregor at James McGregor How sometimes nature reminds us who is in charge for centimeters hailstones in Newcastle this afternoon picked out twitter.com exec and 86 j 8 October 26, 2017 conditions in NSW are expected to ease after severe squalls and dangerous supercells developed across the Hunter and Mid-North Coast on Thursday afternoon and evening, bringing destructive winds, heavy rain and hailstones up to 5 centimeters in width in some areas. Severe thunderstorms hit the Southern Tablelands, Central Tablelands and Sydney metro areas, with hailstones up to 3 cm wide hitting Oberon in the Central Tablelands, the Bureau of Meteorology meteorologist Gabrielle Woodhouse said. The storm activity continued throughout the night and is expected to ease by about lunchtime on Friday. The whole system that is producing the trigger is moving eastwards, so we will see thunderstorms move off to the east and by lunchtime, we should see it all out by the Tasman Sea, Woodhouse said.